Hello, all my fellow nerds out there. Welcome back to another part of Let's Play Blank Dream. You know, um, in the last part, we were able to unlock to unlock a door to the right over here. Right over here, and. And now we can go in here. So let's look around a little bit. There's only darkness in the unlit fireplace. Um, nothing on the shelves. Among the dust covered junk is a book of matches. Take them. Mishra took the matchbox, careful not to collapse the pile of junk. Got the matches. Um, is that all there is in this room? Oh, 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 God. No, thank you. How about no? Are we just stuck in this room now? Oh, God. Mm. Okay. Please don't be there. Okay, it's not there. Okay, we're gone. We're gone. We're out of here. We're outie. We outie. Okay. All right. So now we got a box of matches. Tools to light fires. Still plenty in there. Hmm. All right. Oh, wait. Now that we have matches. Wasn't there a dark room that we couldn't go into in the realm of, in the realm of, uh, what's the realm of love or the realm of beauty? I, anyways, let's, um, let's leave here for a second because it was in one of these realms, right? There was a, was it this one? No warm dead illusion. I'm pretty sure it was the realm of love, right? Okay, just in case something goes horribly wrong. Yeah, it was this door. The flames was like to be Uh, strengthen. Oh, oh, it's a cross. Oh, we're at a crossroads. Oh. Okay, actually, let's... Wait, can we get more? Hmm. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Wait, is this one near the door down here? Okay. Think right thing. Uh, maybe, maybe this isn't the right way. Maybe this way. Uh, let's take a shot in the dark here. Maybe here? No. Okay. Okay, I'm extremely lost. I'm 
I'm afraid to strengthen the lantern because I feel like I might get chased. Wait, oh, actually, dude. Oh, okay, so we're just back here. Okay, cool. Um, let's try this. And let's go down here. Aha! I figured it out by myself. There's a mirror that shows user reflection. It doesn't seem to change no matter how much mystery it looks. Oh, nice. Okay, we're just taking back here. Nice. All right, let's go. Let's go and get Yuzu. Oh, Yuzu. We found another mirror, Yuzu. What? What are my mirrors? Wow, two in such a short time. Leave me there straight away. If we're together, even those realms won't scare me. Okay, remember which way we went top left on the right? And then bottom left on the left. Damn it. Go down the stairs. There we are. Here you go. The mirror shows used with reflection. Okay, I think I'm starting to get used to this now. This mirror is this mirror's got my past, my memories. You know, I'm thinking surely they show memories with something to do with, with my wish. And looking into, in the mirrors might tell me my wish. I'm excited, but a little scared at the same time. You and me both, Yuzu. Seven years ago, Mirror Lake. Pretty sunset, huh, Atsuru? Sunset is, is a watching, is a witching hour. This moment's beauty comes from I mean, being in being when the sun dies even though we see the sun for 12 hours a day we always forget its beauty hmm I guess but I like the sun in the day in the day too you're positive about everything you two it's been a year getting to know Utsuru I still haven't been able to tell her how I feel but we're together as best friend. Best friends a bunch. Of course, I still like her romantically. But just spending time together. But just spending time together, period, is nice. Twilight is a vac is a vacuous thing. It's neither day nor night, and people spend it preparing for the coming for the coming night. Twilight isn't watched and enjoyed. It's just empty and hollow, much like my name. Is the sunset making you sentimental? I think Asturo is a great name. A great name? I hate it. It To be called hollow, it, it feels like a denial of my existence. Hmm. But I like how it feels all translucent. It matches your mysterious air too. Is that right? You know, Yuzu, that I'm a person who shouldn't exist in this world. Huh? What's this now? Just the fact that I'm alive is a mistake. My existence is a cluster of sin. You mean like original sin? Did you ever tell me you were? Did you ever tell me you were a Christian, Utsuro? I didn't mean anything like that. 
in a more concrete way, I shouldn't exist. I don't get what you're saying, Isuru. I mean, this shouldn't, this isn't, shouldn't, isn't shouldn't exist ex really extreme? We get along so well. If you didn't exist, what would, I, what would I do? If, hypothetically, I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. I could only blankly listen to Itsuro, whose words felt so disconnected from reality. It was as if Itsuro saw something different. <sighs> oh, God. And I couldn't perceive things the same way. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I remember now. Even as I got closer to her, Tsuro was a strange girl. Though, that, w that was charming in a way. Most of my memories of Tsuro are back now. And now, I know these are important memories to me. I still can't remember much of up to my death. But it seems I've remembered some things precious to Yuzu Han Hanasaki. And it's thanks to you, Mishiro. Really, thanks a lot. Oh, I know, take this. Mishiro got a mystery key. I picked that up earlier. I don't know how to use how to use it. I'm sure, sure it'll be useful to use somewhere, maybe. It's okay, let's return. Tell me if there's anything else. Okay, so we got two mystery keys. Huh. That was good. I guess we did something good. Hmm. So I guess, I'm just gonna guess that they each have like two me they, I'm guessing that they each probably have like three mirrors or something. Because I believe we went through like three mirrors for them. Or was it two? I might be miscounting or something like that. But keys. Mr. Key from Yuzu and Ryotaro. I kind of like how they're shaped like axes. That's, a, that's always nice. Okay, but I guess we entered the top door now. Oh! West shall always be a reflection of the East. Okay, so the East Room has this. And the West Room looks like this. Okay, hold up. Let me take let me take a picture of the east room. And I know how mirrors work, thankfully. Um okay, so let's take a picture of this. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And now, if I look at this side... Um... Hmm... Oh! The stool is not flipped over. A wooden stool. 
Uh, blip. Hmm. What else is missing? Hmm. Oh! These are in the wrong order. Okay. Okay, so that's here. What else am I missing? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so the stool is split, the bottles are switched. A bed, it can't be moved. Angel like statue. Why does it always be a reflection of the beast? Um what am I missing? Hmm. Um. All right. Let me let me just compare the rooms. Let me just think about this for a second. Oh. Okay. I think I noticed it. It's the sword here. The, the sword. Aha! I am a smart man. I am. I am so smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean, S-M-A-R-T. Uh, bonus points if you get the reference. Okay, I feel like there might be some something up ahead. So let's go ahead and weaken the lantern. Some things cannot be seen in when there is light. What does it mean? Ugh. There's something there. Too dark to see in the fireplace. Something cannot be seen when there is light? Hmm. Okay, so it is safe to strengthen our lantern here. Um, I'm not really going to trust the guide to... Like, I, I am using a bit of a guide, to be honest, but I, I'm not looking at the endings, though. I'm not looking at... Um, I'm only seeing how you get the endings. I'm not seeing... Like, I'm not, I'm not see, spoiling it for myself to see the endings. Western Sword. Uh... Wait, no. Did you say Western Sword? Flip. A Western Sword. Um. Say what?
Wait, oh wait, there was something there before, wasn't it? Hold up, let me try Weekend. Oh, that's clever, that's so clever. In darkness, stab the sword into the unseen corpse. Okay, so do we, do we need the swords? I'll take this. I got a western sword. Okay, but now the door is closed, so I'm assuming I take the other sword as well. Okay, western sword. Ah, the rooms will always mirror each other. Hmm. Okay, so there's supposed to be something here. Oh. Oh, whoops, I mean, strengthen, weaken. Um, so, western sword. A double-edged sword like a knight would carry. Um, use it, I guess? Misho can't think of, of a use for this here. Here? Plunge the western sword into the floor? Uh, sure. Huh! Make sure I heard something moving nearby. Strengthen. The fireplace floor is gone, revealing a ladder down. Hmm. Right, let's descend. Oh. Another mirror. Mirror shows Mishra's reflection. You really don't have to see me off. It can't hurt to be safe at night, right? My house isn't too far from here either. Then again, you're black all over. Maybe strangers won't even notice you, Mishiro. Uh, why are you so nice? Eh? I've already served as a model for your sister. There's no further need to care about me, is there? I mean, I certainly what wasn't deepening our friendship solely to get you to model for me. Then what do you want out of me? No need to hide it. You've done a lot for me, Ayato. Hold on, what's this all of a sudden? I don't want anything in, per in particular out of you. That can't be right. It doesn't make sense. There can't be any reason why you would approach me without any motive. Personally, I don't calculate mo motives or pros and cons with making friends with people. Do you, Mishiro? Didn't I tell you? To me, interacting with others means getting warnings from my mom and teachers. I did hear you were in such a situation. Then have you already forgotten that, that it means for people to interact with that reason? My mom does it to preserve her family's name. My teachers do it to fulfill their job of teaching. So what is it for you, Ayato? I don't understand it. You're overthinking it, Mishiro. I didn't, I didn't meet with you and talk with you for a reason. I guess, strictly speaking, it's just whether we find talking to each other pleasant or not. That's all. I heard your mom has been disciplining you harshly. Oh, ever since a few, ever since a few years ago. And that your high school was very strict all-girls school. But that's irrelevant. Whatever your situa situation, there's no inherent meaning in people mingling. I first spoke to you because you resemble my sister, but keeping in touch with you hasn't been for any purpose. And that's fine. It's how things are. It's so loose enough, okay? Besides, you like having someone to talk to, right? I 
I think of you as a good friend, at least. I'd be shocked if you didn't think, th think that about me. I, I didn't mean to say... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Really though, enough of all that over overly logical thinking. Or else, or else my meager dream of seeing you smile might never come to pass. Alright, let's go. Um, hmm? Then, Mishra, watch out! He saved her! Stop it! That's enough! He saved her! He pushed her out of the way of a drunk driver! I assume that's a drunk driver. I mean, no one would just swerve like that on purpose. Just stop it. Ayato protecting her from the reckless driver headed towards her, becoming a bloody lump of meat. Mishiro Usui's heart dying, dying in that instant. And her loss of hope from Ayato, from losing Ayato carrying her to Mirror Lake, in which she threw herself in despair. All these things, Mishiro remembered. Just as Mishiro began to piece of memories. Huh. Wow. I, wow, that, that's a painful memory. That is such a painful memory. Damn. So she, so Ayato saved her from, from dying and then she just threw her lips over the lake in despair. That's... Wow. Wow. That was crazy. Also, um... Also, somebody somebody actually gave me a hint that there was something in the realm of greenery that I missed. So Um so let's go ahead and explore the realm of greenery for a bit. They, they just told me it's somewhere to the south. That's all they told me. I didn't really see anything else. Oh, there's a little teddy bear. Okay, well, what... Hmm. Think for a second. So apparently it has something to do with this fireplace, I, I'm assuming, because this is the only significant part of, this, of the south room. Hmm. Um, wait, we were able to enter the fireplace earlier, right? Looking closely, there's a ladder in the fireplace. Aha! Cons I love visual consistency. Hmm. If, wait, shield, knight armor. Oh, it's, it's easy. There's something missing. The western sword. Oh, right. There's a metal fixture that displays something. A uh, western sword? Make sure to put the western sword in the hall. That door has blood on it. I don't know what to think about that.
this. The mirror shows someone's reflection. It's certainly not her, yet Mishra felt she could see in it. Uh, look in? wonder what this is. 15 years ago, an inn. Whose mirror is this? Didn't seem to be a Mishra mirror. <laughs> Mishra mirror. All that talk about talk taking a trip together. So this was your goal. Trips aren't necessary for resting your mind, body and mind, you know. And the kids seem to have fun today, too. They're snoozing away now. A good thing for you, isn't it? So, Tamaki, won't you consider it? Drop it, please. Utsuro is my child. Oh, is this a... Is this Asuru's parents? But Sei, Seiichi's to, told me how you've been seeing the shadow of your father in the Asuru late, in Utsuru lately. Seiichi, you told him that? Sorry, but you, you've looked so afraid lately. He knows the situation, so I just thought I should talk to him about it. Tamaki, the biggest load in your mind. It's art, isn't it? Oh, wait! Is that the uh, the person that was in the upper room from the center hall? Like the like the hallway where all the doors. Like the, when we went when we went up, there was a painter guy, right? Was that Tamaki? Utsuro is eight now. From now on, she's going to be drawing more at school. How about leaving Utsuro with her mother? Until she's old enough to take to take this calmly. It'll be fine. If I, her mother, can't protect her, then who will? I suppose you're right, Tamaki. But it feels like you'll collapse at this rate. What'll happen to Ayato then? Nobody's perfect. You you don't need to carry everything alone, especially considering your burdens are much heavier than most. But still, I still want to hold out. I don't want to break up this family of four. Tamaki, Shinji, Chika, I'll support Tama Tamaki as much as I can. Let me try try just a little longer. Seichi, if the two of you insist, then I won't stop you. But just keep in mind, Tamaki, you've already put in plenty of toil. So at least stop before it does you in. Right. But whose mirror was that? Hmm. Tough. Though it was unclear, Mishiro looked into the mirror. She could tell it was not her mirror, and yet... Huh. So there was a secret mirror down there. That's clever. That was extremely clever. I like I like details like that. They're so good. Okay. So So now we finally we finally got through all the realms. I wonder if I managed to confess to Utsuro in the end. Probably not. Huh. From my appearance, it seems like I died in middle school. If I wish... If my wish is something like that, then haunting the living probably won't work. My boss was Shinji Yasui, and Sis was... The child of boss and Sis. What's left is why of... Is the why of me being here. Of course, the same goes for you. Right, so... Would we be able to get into this door then? Hmm.
Hmm. Wait. Oh, wait. The art dude was up here, right? Tamaki was up here. Room of Beauty. But he's not here, is he? Doesn't seem to be here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Well, so are we able to head through here? Now that she's broken on the mirrors, perhaps Mishiro can open this door if she wishes. Hmm. Do you guys think we should stay here for, for another part, or do you think we should do it now? Um, actually, I've been re I've been making at least six or seven par six part. This is probably six part six in the series right now, so I think we should probably um we should probably uh, keep going going through with this. Hmm. You know what? Let's go in. Let's head in. <gasps> Ayato! Huh? Hey. Ayato? Why are you here? Because this soul is, is necessary for granting your wish. Wait, what? Hello, me. So you successfully broke all the mirrors. Your wish will soon come true, and this world's purpose will be concluded. What do you mean? This mirror, mirror world revolves around you, Mishiro. You hold dominion over it. Once a deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake, I wish my life had never even existed. It was a very strong wish to fulfill it. This mirror world was created. It was made solely to realize her wish, and other souls were just extras drawn into it. She should have granted her wish in this in the world she made, but she wasn't able to fulfill it, because she broke before she could. Just as she created just as she created this world, she lost everything, including her memories and her wish. So not knowing her purpose or who she was, she wandered this world and fell apart. That's in the past now, a concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, this world went on existing, sucking in souls who died near the lake with strong wishes. Several years later, a girl threw herself into the lake. Amazingly, she had the same, same wish as the world's creator. So that this world can complete complete its duty, it cho it chose a, a new soul to control it. And so, since you carried the same wish, you became the new ruler, usurping the originator, usurping the originator. The wish the world saw, sought to grant stayed the same; only the person in the center of it was replaced. I was made the ruler of this world? The extra riffraff who feel jealousy towards you still see the broken or originator as the, as a rightful ruler. And maybe, broken broken though she may be, she's personally gone to, in your way at times. Even so, you successfully broke all the mirrors without even wasting weeks or months being lost. You shattered and erased all remnants of, of you in the form of mirrors, containing your past. 
Having recorded all of your actions, I can attest to that. Oh, that's why they're like a save point. It makes sense. But it's not over just yet. This boy's soul is absolutely necessary for total erasure of your life. Because he's simply too significant to you. Without eradicating his soul, your life can't be nullified. So it was none other than you who unconsciously bound his soul to this world. Such that you could such that you could kill him by your own hands. You aren't telling me I have to kill Ayato. What's the problem? You may feel guilty for a second, but right after that, you'll never you'll have never existed. Mishro, you're still suffering, huh? If you kill me, you'll be free from your pain. Right after my death, your conflict will end. It's your world. You can make the choice. Hmm. Oh, uh, no! We don't have a choice in this? Oh, no! Hmm... Um, hmm. Oh no, did I mess up? I think I may have messed up. Hmm. Um, okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back here. Okay, I came back here. Um, I came back here because I feel like there may be something that I'm missing. I don't know. I just feel like I'm missing something in this area. Wait, we were able to go down- Wait, wasn't there an, wasn't there another fireplace in the realm of death? There was another fireplace, right? Okay, please tell me we don't have to avoid the shadow. I'm just gonna wait for the... I'm just gonna wait for the shadows to walk by. As if there is one. Wait, let me turn on my brightness real quick, maybe... Or, wait, is there no shadow? Hold on. I'm gonna close the ladder and play. I knew it! There was a ladder in this other fireplace! Let's descend. There's another door here? I like the door with the mystery key. What is this? What is this? I think there's there's the round eyes. Cute. This mirror shows user's reflection. It doesn't seem to change as much as Mishro looks. There's a fourth mirror? Let's go get Yuzu. Okay. Oh, Yuzu! 
We found another mirror of yours, which is strange because there probably should be only three. Huh? Another one of my mirrors? This makes three. It feels like a finale. Oh wait, though this is three? I thought they were I thought we Wow, I must be really miscounting. Leave me there right away. If we're together, even those rooms won't scare me. Oh, sorry, my, my dog is scratching at my door. This way, you do. Hmm. The mirror shows user reflection. This seems a little different than the others, like the atmosphere in the area. I would have never found this place myself, even after literal years. Look, let's cut the chatter. I'm just too worked up. Let's go for it. Huh. Oh. If hypothetically I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. A few days ago, the body of Utsuru Hinohara was found in Mirror Lake. Why? Why did Utsuru... No, it hasn't been enough. We didn't spend enough time together. Has Hana Hanasaki seemed gloomier lately? I mean, she got along with Hino Hinohara, so I can understand being depressed, but it's not that kind of, kind of gloominess. It's like... The local li library isn't enough. They don't have books to do on this stuff. I need... Seances, necromancy. It all lacks credibility. I don't want this fake occult nonsense. Sorry, there's my my dog scratching on the door. Yuzu, have you been going to class? If I open this gateway, today marks a year to the day. Wait for me, Zero. I've been studying up this past year. And now I'm going to meet you. Wow. Wow. I remember it all now. How I died, my wish, everything else. Of course, there's no such thing as black magic. I must have been, um, I must have been on the brink, huh? Whew, I'm kind of exhausted, getting all those memories dumped on me. Once I've sorted things out some more, I'll tell you my history and wish, Mishiro. Oh, are you going up ahead? Take me with you if you do. I feel like there's something very important to this world up ahead. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I think I... Um, before I do that, I kind of want to look for, um... I kind of want to look for the other, the other mirror. Yeah, I think there was another fireplace in here, right? There's another fireplace in here, right? Looking closely, there's a ladder in the fireplace. Descend. Unlock the door with the mystery key. Oh, 
Oh, it's a blue teddy bear. Cute. This mirror shows Ryo Ryotaro's reflection. Okay, so we found Ryotaro's mirror. All right, let's go get Ryotaro. Oh, Ryotaro, found another mirror of yours. What? Another another of my mirrors? The third one. I sense big things coming. All right then, let's go. Nice. Your mirror is in is in one of these rooms. Here's your mirror. A bit different from the other mirrors. Strange place too, reaching the critical moment perhaps. You walk to this place by yourself. Boy, you're strong. I mean it deeply. The strength isn't the same as never fat fatiguing. No, save it for later. First, look at this mirror. Oh, she just looks like you when you were a kid, but at the same time, much too cute for that. <laughs> it's fine. You're a good guy. I'm sure somebody like you is just is just a guy that to help my glum daughter. Okay, now let's go. The West Building, right? Gah, the smoke's already up to this floor. Oh, is there a fire? It's no good. The stairs are too hot to approach. Cruel fate. Will it end like this without anything resolved with my family? I'm sorry, Chica. Mishiro. So I'll never get to meet Mishiro. I'm sure she'll grow to be a far prettier than Sis. I really wanted to have that chance. It's really not anything lewd. I just see such beauty there. I remembered all of it. How I died, my wish, and all the rest. I see now. Admirable, admirable tenacity, if I do say so myself. I'm a bit tired. Feels like more information overload than the previous mirrors were. Once I got it sorted out, I'll talk about things to do with you and what I know. I'm sure it's simply my duty. Oh, are you planning to go ahead? If you are, I'll accompany you. A good uncle should protect girls, you know. Okay. Let's talk to whoever's behind this door. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... In case, in case this messes things up, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Open the large door. Let's go in. Is that? It's her grandpa. Is that grandpa? Your Rinzo? Once there was a painter he was known as the mad genius, Rinzo Usui. Rinzo's art was highly esteemed and sold for high prices. He had statues and wealth. Grandpa, what are you talking about? And why are you here? Wait, look closely. I don't think he can hear us. Soon, Rinzo married a woman. They had a son named Shinji. Rinzo preached the beauty of art to his wife and child, but they showed no interest in it. Rinzo's wife did not see his art. Only the prices attached. Shinji too was taught 
was taught her practicality. So it was the only nat natural that Renzo formed a relationship with a servant showing true interest in art. Huh? When Shinji was eight, Rinzu, Rinzu and the servant had, had an illegitimate child. Her name was Tamaki. Rinzu kept Tamaki hidden from his wife and Shinji managing two families. But between Shinji, who cared not, not at all for art, and Tamaki, who adored it like her mother, Rinzu's affection went toward Tamaki. That came to an end shortly after Shinji went, went to college, when Tamaki's existence came to light. Rinzu offered his wife's consolation, as asked, and divorced her. Shinji, already grown, Kept the same, kept the name Asui, a wise choice. He knew how to make a living. Some time passed after that when Tamaki, who Rinzo adored as a daughter and a student, turned 18. Rinzo made the biggest mistake of his life. He adored his daughter Tamaki, so he had a child with her. What? That is. Okay, that is messed up beyond belief. That is just messed up, dude. Tomoki and her mother left Rinzu. They refused even money. Tomoki seemingly birthed and raised a child, but who knows the details? Rinzu was able to hear it. Nearly 20 years passed that in since that incident, and Rinzu died of illness. Nothing usual, age comes for all. Shinji was the eldest son of the Asui family, set to inherit his fortune. <clears throat> but thinking of it as his final atonement, Rinzu passed on, living, on leaving a will and gave it all to Tamaki. The inheritance. Holy shit. This... This is heavy stuff, dude. So the boss was disputing with Tamaki over it. That man's soul was now bound here, unlike the other souls. The world is forcing him to be here. Only the creator of this world knows why. But it seems, but it seems some dead fellow has business with me. But very well, to face my sin eternally is an appropriate afterlife for me. That's all. Sorry for the long story. Visitors are rare. I can't see or hear you, but I know you're there. Be well, dead one and soul. Let's go. There's nothing more here. Wow. Shall I return to the usual place? Especially after Rinzo's story, I need to talk to you. What? There's a similar place beyond the mirror with users' memories? I see. Then you can check there first. We can talk later. Wow. Hmm. That that was just heavy. Okay, we're here with Oh wait, wrong way. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. So there's another one here, right? Let's head all the way there. Open the large door. Open it. Who might be in here? Who is this? Who are you? Someone's there. You're... Once there was a painter. He was known as the mad genius, Rinzo Asui. Huh? You know my grandpa? Wait, Mishiro, it looks like maybe she isn't aware of us. 
Rinzo had a wife, but he also had a relationship with a servant. <laughs> with his wife, he had a child, Shinji. With a servant, he had a child, Tamaki. Rinzo's two children, born of different mothers. Huh? Tamaki was an illegitimate child of an, of an affair. But because Shinji showed no interest in art, <laughs> Rinzo's affection was often directed at Tamaki. Or Tamaki? I don't know. <laughs> Who did have an interest in, in the art. Tamaki learned art from Rinzo and gave him deep love. Grew in the shadow of the Yasui family. But these irregular days couldn't last. When Tamaki turned 12, Rinzo's wife learned of her existence. Rinzo divorced his wife, but gave Tomoki and her mother the same love as ever. Thus far, no tragedy had occurred. But when Tomoki turned 18, Rinzo made an unforgivable mistake. He had an, he had a li liaison lia with Tomoki, his own daughter, and impregnated her. Tomoki was deeply wounded and feared, Rin and feared Rinzo, and with her mother, she fled from him. But the child she bore had done no wrong, so she decided to birth the child of her father. So Tamaki had a daughter. A daughter between a parent and a child? That is- Okay, you know what? This is messed up. This is way too messed up, even for me. Tamaki thought she couldn't live a normal day. Live a normal, happy life. But luckily, two years later, she had a proper marriage. Safely having a son with her husband, Tamaki began, began to get back on her feet. However, she never fully did. The mental wounds Tamaki had suffered went even deeper than she imagined. When her now grown daughter was with Rinzo began doing art at school, Tamaki's old wounds ached. It gave her flashbacks of Rinzo, of that fear she had of him. Tamaki struggled to, struggled to give her daughter affection. It took all she had not to take out negative emotions on her. Tomoki's mind quickly crumbled under the weight. And one day, Tomoki killed her daughter. Tomoki fell to pieces. She came to feel animosity not only towards Rinzo, but all the Asuis. <clears throat> Unable to see any hope ahead, she fell upon the despair behind. <coughs> Rinzo died of natural causes a few years later. Oh, whoops, I skipped the dialogue. Dang it. She refused to take it. She wouldn't even let the eldest son go to the eldest son, Shinji. Then at last, Tamaki, who had kept living despite having broken long ago, met her end. When she learned the son she had with her husband was becoming friends with Shinji's daughter. You mean... Tamaki tried to take out Shinji's daughter, Yasui, who dared come near her pure son. But when she drove madly down the road to kill her, she ran over her own son by mistake. That was Ayato! She drove- she ran over her Ayato- Oh my god! Tamaki realized that this was the end, so she took her own life to escape the despair. <sighs> no way, that's so messed up! That woman's soul is now bound here. Unlike the other souls, the world is forcing her to be here. Tamaki's soul is now bound in death, so that she can, can't escape. She must face the facts. This is surely my punishment. I've gone on for a while. I can't see or hear you, but I know you're there. I don't know who you are, but go now. Let's go, Mishiro. We shouldn't stay here any longer. Wow. Oh, this, that was just brutal. Should we return to the usual place with Tamaki's story? I realized something. Huh? Ryotaro got his memories back too? Wow, it feels like everything's approaching to singular end. So I think. Wow. Say, hey, Mishiro, do you think you can open this door? You opened that other one, right? I'm sure it'll open for you, too. 
You think you can open this big door? Okay. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. So it did open. Now the next path for you to take is clear. You just ended up saving our butts this whole time, huh, Mishiro? Hmm, without you. Doubt we would, would have found any mirrors. You have the right to know what I know. In fact, I want you to know. I need to talk to you. I know a thing or two about your parents. I need to tell you some things too, Mish. About who I am and why I'm here. About Tomoki's daughter. Wait, who's this? Get out! Stop. Don't meddle anymore. Give back my world. <clears throat> Run, you two, through the door. Whoa. Is it chasing us? We'll talk later. Just run to somewhere we can hide. Oh gosh, am I gonna have to run? <clears throat> oh no, I feel like I'm gonna have to run. Just run, just run. No, 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 no. Ha ha! Okay. Looks like we've gotten away for now. Uh, let's listen to Yuzu. Okay, let's get started. Got myself a bag. Got myself a bag of chips. Hmm. Are we safe here? I don't sense her chasing us anymore. What in the world was that? I'm about to explain that. I know who that is. Say what? I'm Yuzu Hanas Hanasaki, a middle schooler who committed suicide at 15 at Miro Lake. The reason I killed myself was, to put it bluntly, to meet a girl I loved. Someone had killed her at Miro Lake. It made me extremely sad. So I read all those books on black magic and killed myself to go to the afterlife. To die at the same place exactly a year later. It said that wouldn't work. I think it's a different story, yeah. Different afterlife than what the book meant. But ultimately, I came to this world. But it seems there was something to be gained here. That, that girl, she always said, she was someone who shouldn't have existed. Wait! Could that be, it's Utsuru? Could that be Utsuru? No way! Do me and Utsuru have the same wish? The plot thickens, people. I always found it weird and wondered why it was. But I found out now. <clears throat> she was born between a girl and her own father between Tamaki Hinohara and Rinzu Asui. Her very birth was a taboo. That shadow was Utsuru Hin Hinohara. Even as she is, I can tell clearly. Because my wish was to meet Utsuru one more time. Utsuru Hinohara. That's Ayato's. But to look the way she does now, I wonder what the story is there. But I can't go away just yet. I need to talk to Utsuru more directly, or my wish won't be considered granted. Give it back. That voice. Let's get moving. We can. We can't have a chat now, so run. Okay.
okay, okay. Wait, I gotta, I gotta mentally prepare myself. All right, y'all ready? Okay, um, let, let me say one more time just to be, just to be, okay. <sighs> Let's go. Oh no, no, no. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. No, no, I messed up. All right, round two. Let's go. No, no, ah, come on. All right, all right. I, I, I know what my mistake is. All right. Attempt number three. Let's go. Run. Yes! Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. What's up, dude? She's really stubborn, isn't she? If it were me, I'd have thrown in the tower after that. all that chasing. Uh, listen to Ryotaro. Got it. All right. Let's begin. What the heck is that noise? Hmm. Did we outrun her? Seems so. I don't think she's I don't think she's giving chase. I think the goal is close by. I don't know what'll be up ahead, so I just want to get out of this. I'm Ryotaro Sengoku, younger brother of Chika Usui, Mishiro's mother, and subordinate to her dad, Shinji Usui. Yeah, we kind of we kind of figured that he was the uncle. We all kind of figured that. Okay, I knew about you a while back from New Year's card Sis sent me. To be honest, I found you cute. Not exactly a romantic thing, of course. I was captivated by your latent beauty, I suppose. But I was asked. But when I asked my boss about you, I learned you'd be glum and moping as a. You'd be glum and moping as a. Okay, let me just go ahead and plug this, plug my, ch I gotta plug my charger in, hold up, there we go. My, my laptop was, my laptop was almost dead. And I know why, you injured someone in middle school, and this kept you shackled ever since. That's right. My boss invited me over to your house, and I was honestly pumped to try and help you. It made me sad to imagine such a beautiful girl moping around. He says without a second of hesitation. No poking fun now. It's the end. Huh? But I died before it happened. We ca we got caught in a fire in the building at work. A fire? Yes. I was with your father. After that, well, it kind of even kind of surprised me. Partly by will, I became a soul. I flew around to where you were, apparently. So for a year or so, between my death and yours, my spirit was sort of haunting you. What? Oh, but it was hardly even conscious of anything. I would just vaguely know that's what happened. Ahem. For you see, ever since I saw your photo, I considered you someone beautiful and worth protecting. So even th through death, I had the wish of getting to talk to you at least once. So that was your wish. So it was. Thus, it's, thus it's been granted. By following you, I wound up in this world. And in this world, my unrealized wish came true. In fact, the moment I became aware of my wish, I felt I could free myself from this world any time. So you're going? Well, I've come this far. I'd like to see your story, so your story to an end. Mishiro, the harsh circumstances you've had, and the fact that you're dead now. I don't feel like it's irrelevant to me. I can't say don't bl blame your I can't say don't blame your parents. But I just want you to know, I can't force you to understand and sympathize because I just want you to know, because I can't force you to understand or sympathize, but just know, 
Your father worried over and regretted how he was spending less time with you. He wasn't just weighing you in, in the inheritance on a scale. Your mother was working with your father to obtain proof that the Asumi fortune belonged to them. Maybe she failed to control her strength properly. Maybe she wasn't calm, but she had no ill will, I'm sure. I'm sure after the boss and I died, she endured the sorrow of losing a husband and a brother and fought for her family. Your father and mother might have been clumsy, but they were cold-blooded. I just want to know. I just want you to know that. It's probably too late to say now, though. Let's go on ahead. This is a door you're able to open. I'm sure there's something important to you there. If you're telling me that, then why should I wish to erase my existence go? Where should my wish to erase my existence go? Hmm. Right. Let's do this. Is the server chasing you, Mishiro? Why in the world would she do that? My duty's been done. The rest is in your hands. Let's do this. Huh? Hey, Ayato? Why are you here? Because this soul is necessary for granting your wish. <clears throat> Hello, me. So you successfully broke all the mirrors. Your wish will soon come true, and this world's purpose will be concluded. What do you mean? Well, hold on a second. All the actors are here. Actors? Whoa! <sighs> this mirror world revolves around you, Mishiro. You hold dominion over it. Once the deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake, I wish my life never even existed. That was at Tsuru. It was a very strong wish, and to fulfill it, this mirror world was created. It was made solely to realize her wish. The other souls were just extras drawn to it. She should have granted her wish in this world she had made, but she wasn't able to fulfill it. Because she broke before she could. She could. Just as she created this world, she lost everything, including her memories and her wish. So, not knowing her purpose or who she was, she wandered this world and fell apart. That's in the past now, it concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, the world went on existing, sucking in souls who died near the lake with strong wishes. That was Utsuru Hinohara. Yes, she wanders this world even now. Sister. Several years later, a girl threw herself into the lake. Amazingly, she had the same wish as the world's creator. So that this world could complete its duty. It chose a new soul to control to control it. And, and since you carried the same wish, you could become you became the new ruler, usurping the originator. The wish the world sought to grant stayed the same. Only the person in the center of it was replaced. I was made the ruler of this world? The extra riffraff who feel jealousy towards you still see the broken originator as a rightful ruler. And maybe, the broken, broken though she may be, she personally gone in your way at times. Even so, you successfully broke all the mirrors. But the Without even wasting weeks or months to get being lost. Yeah, we we uh, we've read this already. Pass. This boy's soul is absolutely necessary because he's simply too significant to you. Without eradicating his soul, your life can your life can't be nullified. So, it was none other than you who unconsciously bound his soul to this world, such that you could kill him. 
him by his own by your own hands. You aren't telling me I have to kill Ayato. What's the problem? You may feel guilty for a second, but right after that you'll have never existed. Mishiro, you're still suffering, huh? You do resemble my sister after all. Even as, even as a soul, you have the same wish. If you kill me, you'll be free from your pain right after my death. Your conflict will end. It's your world. You can make the choice. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I've overcome a lot of obstacles coming here. I've looked back at my past and erased it. But is this really right to just make it so I never existed? Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you ask whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse, without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. My wish, my life, I wish my life had never even existed. And yet, I've learned that my mom and dad gave their best efforts for me, clumsy as they were. And I know there's a person who valued me, going so far as to come to this world to encourage me. Can I make all that something that never happened? And that's not all. Seeing Yuzu and Utsuru, I had a thought. If Utsuru's life had never existed, what would become of Yuzu's feelings? Desperately turning to black magic, killing herself and wandering this world for years. All to finally realize her wish to meet Asuru again. What would become of that? I'll make the choice to grant that wish or not. But I want Asuru to see this out too. Because it's her because it's her same wish. And this is her world I inherited. <coughs> if only in pieces, learning about Asuru from the mirrors has fulfilled the mirror's purpose. Ayato and Yuzu are both here with these two I'm sure we can get Utsuru's memory back <clears throat> indeed maybe a little bit of it R really sister memory listen to Hinohara you need to remember your birth your death and the one who loved you <clears throat> Mishra spoke at length of the things she'd seen and heard in this world. Her mother, Tamaki, her father, Rinzo, the Hinohara family she lived with, Yuzu. <clears throat> she spoke as Itsuru's mirror, all that she knew. <gasps> She's back to normal. I see. I haven't felt this in a long time. Itsuru. Yuzu, you fool. I told you to forget about me if I died. <laughs> well, I couldn't. Is it you, sister? It is, Ayato. So even you ended up here. <coughs> I didn't intend to hand the world over to you. I was even thinking of killing you to forcefully take it back, take back control. Even more so now that I've remembered my wish. I want to erase my mother mother and my true father myself but alas I became indebted it's a, it's a fact that if you hadn't been there my mind would have stayed fragmented forever do as you like before I change my mind I my choice is what Hmm, should we? But after all that, after that whole speech, I think it's best if we don't. But let's just see what happens if we don't. <clears throat> I won't do it. I can't. I can't do it anymore. That's this secret distress, most painful effort, even Ryotaro's unusual concern for me. I can't just make all that be gone. That's not all. For every mirror I broke, I'll vanish 
it vanished from the lives of people I knew. And I also vanished from Ayato's world. <clears throat> but then, what did Ayato die for? And did Tamaki ever step on the accelerator? What did Tomiki ever step on the accelerator for? If it were just me, then fine. But to control the feelings of the people around me, I have no right. That's not my wish anymore! Are you really sure about that? Whatever you think, whatever you know, it won't actually change anything. Are you still giving up on your wish? I am. I see. I, the mirror world, accept abandoning this abandoning the wish, its reason for being ends here. Huh? This world can vanish when the ruler's wish is granted. Or they abandon it with clear intent. It won't be left up in the air like it's like with a suru. So will everyone here vanish? Except for you, Mishiro. To get straight to the point, you're not dead yet. Huh? <coughs> your soul has left your body, of course, but your body isn't actually dead. You're telling me she's alive? You drowned yourself, but as it happens, a passerby found you. They called it in, in right away, and, thought, and though unconscious, you were saved. It was a failed attempt. Mishiro, when your soul leaves here, It'll be forced back into your body. But what you've done in this world won't be written off. <clears throat> the memories you erased by breaking the mirrors won't come back when you return to life. You didn't actually carry out your wish. So the actual past isn't gone. But but your memories of it are. Maybe you'll remember ta talking with me a bit. <clears throat> but things like meeting me at, at the lake... Are you still prepared to leave this place? Can you live in a world you've given up on living in once before? <clears throat> I'll live. Because I'm not dead yet. I don't want to just throw away the life you protected, Ayato. Am I discarding the wish I inherited from Mitsuru? I think it'll honor Yuzu's feelings. I see. That's a relief, then. I absolutely can't understand my sister's wish. But you've made the choice for her. It might sound sort of trite, but I want you to live my sister's share. I want you to prove that giving up on the wish was the right thing to do. Smile for my sister. That's my dream too. I'll try my best. There are people who value you. There are people you'd, who'd want who'd be sad about your death. It may be a bit warped, admittedly. But I'm one of them. The world's not that much of a disappointment, you see. So I've done my best to encourage you. You're really something, you know? You've really picked yourself back up. You went and learned about your own wish, but mine, Yuzu's, but not only your own wish, but mine, Yuzu's, and Itsuro's. Old Ryotaro won't say much more. Try to get along with Sis when you get back. Right. I'll try to face with her. Thank you, Mishiro. Because of you, I could get my memories back. And my wish. I learned about Utsuru's birth and death and got to talk with her once more. I'm satisfied now. I really am. Maybe returning to life won't mean happy things all the time, Mishiro. But I'm sure you can get, you can get up and walk again since you've saved so many people here. Mishiro, I leave, leave incense or something at my grave. Think of it like saying hi. Okay, I'll be sure to find your grave. I lost the moment I broke. I lost from the moment I broke, I suppose. I won't pull any mischief. I can accept this result. Though, I can't say I'm entirely satisfied. Ayato, who adored me as his sister, and Yuzu, who needed me in her life. I'm glad for the fact that I could talk to the two of them one last time. Yet, I'll fade away still resenting that man Renzo, that woman Tamaki. Surely, I can be forgiven for that. 
That's true. Sorry for taking over your world. Sheesh, seven years and it all ends like this. As long as the ruler's satisfied, I suppose. Will Tsuro go to heaven too? Not sure about heaven or hell, but she'll be free from this world to go where she goes. That's good. <clears throat> I say ruler, but you're more of an usurper, technically. Mishiro, once you get back and things settle down, you should visit my my atelier. It's not complete, of course, but I want you to see the painting you modeled for me for someday. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little scared about how much I'll forget, but I won't lose my time in this world. And I won't ever wish to erase the events to come. It's time to go. After that, I regained consciousness in a hospital bed. <clears throat> Apparently, I really had been saved, and my soul saved, returned safely to, from the mirror world. My mother was there looking at me in a way I felt she hadn't in years. Mishiro, you're awake? Thank goodness, oh thank goodness! If I had lost you too... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I drove you to do this, didn't I? My mother was shocked by my suicide attempt and apologized for her harsh discipline. My, my head felt very hazy. I only remembered that she was my mother, who became very strict at some point. It took a lot just to recognize that as real. And as I thought about it, fear and unease toward my mother came up from the gaps in my memory. Wait, this music sounds familiar. Wait, wasn't this music? Wait a second, wasn't this song in, um, in, uh, that Newgrounds game? Uh, what was it? Uh, Ikimono High? Wasn't this music in Ikimono High? Seriously, someone take a listen to this and then listen to the Ikimono High soundtrack. It sounds the same. But, it's okay. Ritaro told me about the pressure of the Asuis and how death, how death had taxed my mother's mind. Now that I was able to accept that, it was easy to hold my mother's hand. My brain had suffered memory loss, and I could no longer remember my past events. I remembered Ayato was someone important to me, but I had no concrete memories of him. But I distinctly remember talk talking in the mirror world, and I felt considerable warmth from, from that alone. I clearly remembered Yuzu and Ryotaro too. I probably only met them in the mirror world. Oh? Mishiro Usui, is it? Hello, I'm Seiichi Hinohara. A few days after I left the hospital, a man came to visit me. His last name sounded familiar. Could you be Ayato's... Yes, thank you for being along with Ayato. Seiichi Hinohara was Ayato's father which meant he was the one who married Tamaki. He was the father who Utsuru grew up with. I'm not sure if I should be saying this, but I'm really glad you regained consciousness. The driver who sped towards you in Ayato, she's no longer with us. Her body was found at Mirror Lake, in a car that went up in flames. He meant Tamaki, his wife. But from Seiichi's perspective, it would be impossible for me to know Tamaki. I felt it would be better to stay silent than to confuse him with unnecessary remarks. She was my wife. We met each other at school. She was humble, art-loving, somewhat naive woman with a radiant smile. Her final sin came at, at the end of a long sorrow, but I won't ask you to forgive her. Still, if it's alright, could you visit Ayato's grave sometime? Of course. Not only Ayato, but Atsuru and Tamaki. Now maybe I could offer them prayers. Yeah, I swear, this is the same song from uh, Ikimono High. Like, take a listen. If you guys can. Oh? It feels very nostalgic. I'll look at Ayato's painting. Oh? Look at the canvas. Yes.
It might sound sort of trite, but I want you to visit my sister's share. I want you to live my, sh my sister's share. I want you to prove that, that giving up on your wish was the right thing to do. Smile for my sister. That's my dream too. Oh, it's so cute. Ayato Hinohara, blank dream. Oh, it's so cute. Ayato, it's, it's not a dream anymore. Oh, oh, oh it's so cute. Oh, this is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Oh, that was so good. That was such a good story. Oh, that was amazing. That was an amazing story. I freaking love it. I'm, I'm just gonna let these credits roll. So, yeah, um, you guys, uh, go ahead... You guys should go ahead and tell me what you guys thought about the story in the comments. I thought this story was absolutely amazing. This was probably one of the coolest games I've ever played. It's probably one of the scariest games I've ever played too, but I loved it. <clears throat> and it covered a lot of heavy topics it, and a lot of things that, that normal people wouldn't be comfortable with. <clears throat> but in all honesty, I really, really, really liked the story. It was probably one of my favorite stories in games to play. And in all honesty, I, I really want to see more games like this. I want to see more games like this. I want to see more thing, more people make this kind of thing. Like not, like it doesn't have to be with the heavy topics and all that. It can be about anything you want. But for myself, if I were to have a wish, I probably would wish to hit the reset button on my life reset button on myself like i wouldn't i wouldn't want to end my life no no i would never do that but i want to if i were to reset my life i probably do a few things differently i probably i probably change a few friendships of mine i probably realize who was good and who wasn't i probably just i suppose but as of now i think it's best to just live my life to the fullest oh I've always wanted to go to one of her exhibitions. Sure enough, she carries carries the blood of the mad genius Rinzo Isui. I thought I saw Rinzo touch too. The Rinzo touch too. At first, she's self-taught. It's totally different from Rinzo's art. Huh. I, su I suppose so. How unusual. In her 20s, in her 20s and climbing so high with her own style. She's not just riding off her ancestor. Rinzo was un was realistic, while she's more impressionist. That's true. I did feel Mirror World was too unusually abstract to be Rinzo's style. <clears throat> Seeing is believing. You can tell a unique mood from her art at a glance. True, true. No, I really getting excited to see it. Her most famous masterpiece of all, her. Ending one, blank dream. A fantasy to live in a dream within white canvas. Oh, that was amazing. So yeah, everybody. That was that was blank dream. That was the end of the game. Oh, well, the first ending. <clears throat> I I think there there could be more endings that I'm not aware of. I'm probably I probably skipped out I probably did skip out on one of them. But I always try to go for the best or good endings in any in any of these um, games. But let me know if you guys if you guys want to see uh, if you guys want to see more of the other endings, or if you want to see me play more of these kinds of games. And be sure to leave a like, comment down what you want to see next, uh, share this video with your friends, and click the and subscribe and click the bell so, so you don't miss a single notification. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.